Welcome to Change Your Funk to Fun with your host, Mary Mazur. Learn how your body, mind, and spirit operate and learn how to access a sacred, powerful tool called Psyche K to assist you to ignite the wisdom within you to rewrite any limiting beliefs. So please welcome the host of Change Your Funk to Fun, Mary Mazur. Hi, I am Mary Mazur. You are on the Bold Brave TV Network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun. We're in episode eight today. uh, Today, the talk is allow yourself to open to all the love around you and receive it. Yes, we're going to be talking about love today and uh, the love of who you are and that it is all around you and how you can easily access it. Uh, magnetize it for you and actually be able to vibrate in it and to um, live in, in, in the way of your love. Uh, for this talk, I'm inviting a beautiful guest on the show, Anna Maria Wieser. So uh, Anna was born in Lima, Peru. She moved to the U.S. in 1994 um, and lives in Florida now. So uh, she's a mother of two boys, Nicholas and Dylan, uh, 18 and 14 year olds. She started her journey uh, in transformation in 2016 with the leadership program. And then she found Psyche in 2019. So she currently works independently as a Psyche facilitator and a mentor for those who are ready for deep transformation. So we welcome uh, Anna on this show. Let's see if hopefully Anna can come back in. <laughs> if she doesn't, then I, oh, there you are. Hello, Anna. <laughs> Hello. How are you? I'm sure we can hear you. Oh, I'm doing wonderful, wonderful. Thank you, thank you. Well, thanks for coming in. And uh, first we'll introduce uh, even how we got started to get to know each other, because I know you and I do the same work that we offer for people with being Psyche facilitators here. And I know you help sponsor workshops in your beautiful home in Florida, which I'm so grateful for. <laughs> and you help help uh, organize uh, ways for people to come and actually learn this beautiful tool. So um, yeah, are you a little bit... Um, are you uh, would love to share a little bit of your story of yeah how you found this beautiful tool how you're helping yourself and uh yeah we'll dive in deep here about how you can how you've been able to connect with the love all around you uh well i was uh 2016 is when i started my journey of transformation um i've tried a transformational training i did the course to become an ontological coach a transformational trainer uh, and then in 2018, I struck, I was struggling with depression, anxiety, uh, panic attacks, bad panic attacks. Uh, the beginning of 19, I uh, took the class for hypnosis. And um, then I attended some uh, ayahuasca ceremonies, but it still, mm-hmm. it was not working. I tell you, it was after my second ceremony that I... Um, had this thing that I was blocked. I just barely saw anything during that ceremony. And I remember seeing on the table where I stayed a paper that said, ayahuasca doesn't show you what you're not ready to see and you're ready to change. And I was frustrated because having done all the work in the previous years, having hired a coach for myself, like for the five or six months prior to that ceremony, I was just like, like, something is not working and i remember having the session with my coach and she i i shared like can you believe the plant says i'm not ready to change and i started crying and it was just like i'm frustrated with my life i want to change everything and just like that a week after i said that um the person i was dating sent me this video it was like a short 10 minute video from dr bruce lipton four ways of reprogramming your subconscious mind. Now I studied psychology. I knew about the power of the subconscious. I just didn't know how to access it. So when he's talking about this process called Psyche, that is like a magical tool that you can just access everything and change uh, negative perceptions or beliefs within five to 10 minutes, I said, I gotta try it. So I booked a session and he was like, oh my God, <laughs> like this is it. <laughs> it was like, life changer right there like panic attacks went away depression lower anxiety lowered and i noticed i started speaking louder i always was very soft-spoken and i'm like wow if with one session i did all that i imagine if i learned the process so i signed up for the next workshop that was in my city 
which was like a week, uh, I mean, a month after my session. And then the following month, I did the next one and the next one and the next one. So I finished all of them and I've been amazing. So I, I, for me, I think it was the moment that I said, I want to change my life. That's like they just landed. And yeah, that's how it all started. Oh, I love it. I love it. And thank you for that because that's actually everything, that key. The fact that you actually admitted to yourself and uh and spoke it out you literally gave it in there that you were ready everything is about being ready are you ready to make the changes right and it's okay if there's things blocking you or things bugging you or frustrating you because that's why we it's it's life is a continuous journey right we're gonna <laughs> yes we wish we had a magical wand and just whip one <laughs> little thing you know and say this is my wish and then have everything be all magical and beautiful here and we did yeah. agree to live on earth yeah, in the 20th century where everything was like very, um, pretty much dark and people were in scarcity, lack, fear, you know, mm -hmm. there was the wars. I mean, there was a lot going on when we were born and we got imprinted with all of that. And that's mm -hmm. the amazing part. It's all perfect though. And it's all gorgeously beautiful because that's how powerful we are. We are uh, divine creators here. And I know you have discovered and recognized that meaning we also have been programmed for a lot of things to say that we're not any of this too, and a lot of fear to prevent us from actually stepping into the power of really who we are, the true co-creators of who we are with divinity, with source, God consciousness, or however people want to um, describe that, right? Mm -hmm. our, our highest selves, if that's what where they are. But yeah, and I know, and I love it because I love how you and I got connected because I'm one of the instructors. So um, you love you love organizing things and you're very inspirational to inspire people because your life has literally transformed just like mine did too. And how precious that when there is a beautiful tool that can help us with this, because, you know, it's kind of like trying to build a house. And unless, unless um, you know, the, the builders actually have the tools to do that, they're going to have a really hard time to put that house together. You get that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Same with yeah. our lives, right? but hey, when they have the hammer and the screwdriver and all of like the the saws and all the things that they need, then then boom, then of course they can put all these pieces together, and that's exactly what Psyche offers is those exact tools for this time, bringing our spiritual parts of us into back into us again, connecting with that and letting that, right, uh, you know, help help lead us now, letting it be our uh, sacred uh, GPS system right within us. And and that and then exactly one day at a time, one breath at a time, we have a way to to look at things in a new way. So, um, are you able to share some things that that you um, you know um, developed within yourself, your your younger years of life, that blocked you from from knowing that there's love all around you, knowing you that you are love and that you can receive this love easily? Well, um, for me, besides you know having struggled with all that. Um, I also struggled with relationships, uh, all kinds of relationships because it wasn't just like the romantic relationships, but in general, I, I was always like skeptical, I guess. And later on, I understood where my distrust came from, but, uh, yeah. So having been able to open myself to creating relationships, healthy, interdependent relationships, mm -hmm. long lasting relationships. Mm -hmm. uh, that has been a big one, you know, including like the relationship with my kids, for example. Uh, I was like the bossy, uh, critical, um, whatever mom, you know, and I noticed that as I continue to work with myself, my um, behaviors have changed and that have definitely made a big impact in the relationship with my own children. Oh, that's so beautiful, right? Yeah, and they're probably one of the most important people in your life right now, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely. No, I love it. So so love, okay, so we'll, we'll kind of talk a little bit about love here. I know for many of us, we, uh, actually experienced condition love, even my own self with my own family and the upbringings that I had. And I know we, we both know our parents did the best they could. Your parents are still living, which is really awesome. Mine have already transitioned. But um, just knowing love, we learn love from our parents. You know, we learn love from our family. We, we learn what is love? What, what are we? Who are we? We actually create our own identity of who we are, right? With those pieces. And in that, we, uh, we also can get those distortions. So I know for myself, I definitely had a lot of those distortions. The big ones for me 
that prevented me from from really knowing the love of who I am. And then also um, knowing that love is all around me that like literally shifting to be able to live in more of a heaven on earth instead of it being more of a battlefield or more like a hellish, you know, some aspects of Mm -hmm. it. So, yeah. So I know for me, a a really huge piece was that, uh, you know, I had embodied things that I thought I wasn't good enough. I thought there's something wrong with me or I was even afraid of even hurting somebody or doing some harm. So I would be a little more, Ooh, like, like, like you, you even shared you were kind of more like a chameleon, like we learned to adapt. We learned to maybe lose ourselves even just to please others, to be self-sacrificing. So would you like to share a little bit of that and then how Psyche has helped you with the changes with that? Well, uh, a lot of, uh, I think a lot of my um, transformation, um, I will say, was inspired by my last relationship and wanting that relationship to work. You know, I started wanting that relationship to work and it wasn't until I understood that I had to change. And the more I changed, the better I felt, the better my relationship flew. And I, like he will say, you're a people pleaser. You're, you're, uh, you're, you always say yes to everything. You're like uh, wanting me to like you more and more. And, And I kept questioning myself, like, okay i agree yes i do it and then why do i do it and it was all going back to my childhood where i believe that i wasn't good enough that i wasn't approved that i wasn't accepted that i had to be this perfect girl or woman following everything that i was told and then when i didn't i was bad and obviously good things did not happen so that relationship helped me to analyze and then having the tool of psyche helped obviously things transform and yeah it, it it was it was noticing how i was trying to be like him or trying to be liked by him or approved by him so yeah it, it was it was interesting i i noticed it in my previous partners as i you know sat with myself and thought of my previous relationships and I noticed how the, for example, the the one before this guy, he was like me. He was doing the same things I was doing, and the one before I was doing it. So I was like, oh, so I have two sides. Sometimes I'm doing it. Sometimes they're doing it. <laughs> wow. So I'm able to recognize both sides. Right. Well, you bring up a huge point is to recognize it. Recognizing it is everything, right? The more you can open up and reflect. And I think you do a wonderful job with that, right? Yeah. And I think that that's one of your biggest strengths, right? Is to 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 catch it, to pay attention to it. Like, wow, yeah, I am doing that. Or or if I if this isn't helping me feel very good, like that's the gift of our emotions, right? Because when I feel frustrated or angry or sad, depressed, uh, like you had went through the depression pieces and stuff and anxiety, right? How cool when we can start asking ourselves some key questions, right? Of like, wow, wonder what this is about, right? Yeah. And if we can even move to the part of saying, hey, I wonder if this is here for me. And that's what you're doing. You're letting it see that it's actually here for you. You recognizing that is now can offer you, right? How would you rather it be? What would you, how would you like it to be? Put it in the positive. And, uh, and that's exactly what Psyche helps you do is actually imprint it there in the subconscious mind. So that can be the new program, right? So yay, yay for that, huh? You, you know, uh, there was also one thing as, you, as, as you're mentioning that, um, I can never be still. I can never sit with myself. I can never meditate. Like when I was doing the coaching program, they asked for us to meditate at least 10 to 15 minutes. My coach will say, at least do it for five. I like do it after that one minute i'm already lost i'm thinking about so many things i can never stay still i can never be calm you know and and stay quiet in a place i was always doing going distracting myself until i realized that the more i cleared the negativity in my own mind using this process i enjoyed my time i i could sit with myself because now what my mind is quiet and if it's not quiet i can Stop the chatter voice in my head. <laughs> Ooh, that's super. Same thing happened with me too, right? And I think a lot of it was we were running on fear, right? We had we had to be alerted and and run away or move away, or our minds were so sharp to try and you know protect us in case there was a threat or think if we didn't feel safe. I know for me, it's probably I didn't feel safe or I didn't feel secure. 
And I know for me, I was even hardly in my body. So that's a whole other one is to get grounded, get in your body, but you're in your right. This is so, so precious. Um, and then, and then to be able to uh, allow yourself, and then what we call is that it's more of the feminine side of us, because our masculine side is more in our minds, and the feminine side is more in our hearts, and letting ourselves be more in our hearts now, and then just letting ourselves use our mind to guide us, to help us focus, to help us pick the most important pieces, right, to be a good structure for us. And what a gift when you can actually be comfortable being still being quiet because actually that's that infinite possibilities is things all open up and then you ooh, then let the most the most beautiful idea drop in for you right let that love that is all around you connect with you with those beautiful ideas so we're going to take a short break right now uh when we come back we'll be talking about maybe the people that you have helped and served because i know you serve and help a lot of people and i know i do too so we'll share some beautiful stories of, of people who've transformed their lives um with receiving love sound good okay mm -hmm. so i am mary mazer you're on the bold brave tv network this is change your funk to fun we'll be right back what if there were a super tiny device that could diagnose the brain and is smaller than a single human hair? What if you could see inside the brain to help an epilepsy patient during surgery or to help the fight against Parkinson's disease? Dr. Patricia Broderick is proud to announce the Broderick Probe, a biomedical and electronic breakthrough. Imagine a probe to help with the understanding and potential cure of brain-related diseases. To learn more, listen live to the Easy Sense Radio Show with host Dr. Broderick, Wednesdays, 7 p.m. Eastern on the Bold Brave Media Network and TuneIn Radio. And to help support the Broderick Foundation, please go to Easy easysense.com and learn how with your help we can fight these horrific brain disorders that's easysense.com to learn more and help support the broderick foundation author radio show host and coach john m hawkins reveals strategies to help gain perspective build confidence find clarity achieve goals john m hawkins new book Coached to Greatness, unlock your full potential with limitless growth. Published by iUniverse, Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them. We discover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals. Listen to John Hawkins' My Strategy, Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Mm. Welcome back. I'm Mary Mazur. You're on the Bold Brave TV Network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun. And Anna Maria Mazur is here with us too. Also a transformational, uh, I know, leader here, help, helping people uh, greatly uh, help transform their lives, reconnect back to the love all around them and the love within them and to receive it easily. So Anna, would you love to uh, share maybe some uh, some stories of some different uh, yeah, people you have been participated? So... I recently started working with uh, women from different parts of the world. I joined the group for uh, women uh, and I there was one post that caught my attention. It was this girl that asked a question and she said, I know or I've heard that we create our reality. Now, I want to know how is it possible that people can say that I created my own reality when I was raped as a little girl? And so a lot of people responded and I replied to her and we agreed to work on a session I offered to work with her and when I shared you know what I've learned I said look it could be that you saw it somewhere it could be that it happened to someone and you witnessed it or it could be that you heard a story or maybe you have it from an ancestor like a hidden loyalty unconscious loyalty and she was like okay all right yeah that could be I think it clicked because she said it happened more than once. Uh, so anyway, we started with the process of psyche. First, uh, kind of like removing the stress of the situation, just focusing on the situation. And as she opened her eyes, she started crying. But then when she opened her eyes, she was like, OK, I feel so much lighter. And then I asked her what she wanted to transform. And she started like, OK, well, I don't feel safe with men. 
you know? So we started changing the perceptions about men and different things. Um, just like her, there were several other women that I work with and I recently started interviewing them to share their experiences. They, they agreed to share their experiences. And it was interesting how the first girl I worked with, the one that was questioning, I shared the story with two other girls uh, a few days ago, just telling them what I shared. And one of them says, well, that's true because my grandma got raped when I was a little girl and I saw her. Mm -hmm. I was like, wow, look at that. Like, not that it's a good thing, obviously, but it's such a profound uh, discovery that, you know, we are that powerful, whether it's for positive things or negative things, but we're creating the reality. And like I said, we can change the story. We don't have to be stuck and we don't have to continue to repeat it. Or the people that follow us, like your, your children, because that was one of the things she shared. I don't want my daughter to stay with that. So we changed the perception because I said, they don't have to repeat the stories. We, we create our story and story stays with us. So it's been amazing. Amazing. Yes. Oh, I love it. I love it. Yeah. I love it. And, and a big piece is exactly that when we've been violated, when we've been hurt, when we've been harmed, those are huge. And it could even just be in words, maybe something that like one of our uh, parents or siblings had said that where we don't feel like we belong or we don't feel like we're welcomed or wanted. Those are super, super huge. And then, then, right. Obviously when there's more, um, even big, bigger experiences, like, you know, um, like a sexual abuse or like if people have been robbed or have been, um, you know, violated, I guess the, the, kind of the good word that keeps coming up is violation of that, right? So, and if, if it's helpful, if we can remind ourselves that we we are here on earth and <laughs> there's no coincidences that we're here. We actually all volunteered to come here, which is really amazing that, and that the gift comes in. I know definitely for Psyche has helped me tremendously connect with uh, my I am presence, like remembering who I am and that I am actually love and light, that I'm actually an aspect of divinity here you know we're like the sun rate of the sun here or like the water droplet of the of the ocean and we all are interconnected and we all affect each other right so uh the gift here is because now we're really raising the frequency raising the vibration we're helping to shift people from the third dimension up into the fifth dimension right so when people are going to be up in the fourth dimension which is a little wonky it's kind of like a little chaotic and a little wonky and mm -hmm. it's the time which means that's where all the emotions are going to come up so i know at least especially for myself is how I'm feeling is my biggest gauge, okay? And I check in, and, and so what a, a great thing to do, I know what I what I do now, and I've cultivated that, thank goodness for the gift of Psyche, because, right, when I learned Psyche, I was way too busy, kind of similar to you, I was always going, 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 running, racing, and here, um, with with the Psyche helped me with, with shifting that, to come back into balance, to be comfortable, to be still, to be quiet, to be curious, to just allow myself to be, right, and to really, really slow down. And, and, and in doing that, then right, it can open up. Okay, let myself feel again, because I also blocked my feelings. You know, my dad said, Yeah, you cry, I'll give you something to cry about kid, you know, he was a Marine, it was like, you know, it wasn't safe to, to, to have feelings. And in, in, in when I was growing up, no, and you had to actually act like you were happy all the time. That's what my mom did. And she just used denial. And the, you know, you'd ask him, how are things, mom? Oh, everything's great. Even though you could feel they're not like, she's like, what? Like, so then, I, then you get into like, okay, so what do I trust? Who do I trust? They say one thing, but then I'm feeling something different. And then do, how can I even trust my own feelings or my own inner gauge? And so all these things can get distorted within us here. And it's actually, um, if we can see it like a game, it might be a little more helpful <laughs> to just say, oh, if this is actually really happening, what can I do about it? Right. And, uh, the gift I know that I love is, is being able to actually go into that feeling, right? We help with transforming perceptions. So it's wonderful when you actually step right in, because if you keep avoiding the fears or avoiding stuff, it's actually just still going to stay there until you actually address it. So it will just, you know, wait, you know, we live in infinity here. So it's, uh, <laughs> it'll come in all of our dying, dying timing. And it might just be a little knock on the door and it might be a big slam of a two by four on your head. If you really don't listen, <laughs> mm -hmm. right. that's what will happen in relationships or our health or finances or things like that. I know for you, you talked about relationships. That also has been a lot of where I love the dancing too. The, the huge part is, is I've moved it into more of my relationship with my own self. 
and check in with that. How am I with myself? Do I love being with myself, enjoying? I love nature now. I didn't used to do that either. And we help with the principles of nature with Psyche, which is so beautiful. But how about this? How about if we realize that we're our own life partners because we're with ourselves our whole lives? <laughs> Nobody oh. else will. Nobody else will. Exactly. Exactly. And then whatever we have created, yeah, okay, we might have created some interesting things. We actually can change those. So now when you're ready, how about you create some really good stuff? And then what we offer here is to let your heart start to lead you, which is what is your heart's desires? What do you, what would you really love to have? And let it be more playful. Let it be more imaginative. Let's say, oh, if I could do this, what would I love to be doing? So even with you, like um, with your entrepreneurship and stuff, I mean, if you want to share that, because you, you, you inspire me greatly of all the ideas you have and all the things you do. And I know, and it just, it's like, wow, the things you're creating. Yeah, and how, how you've helped yourself with the changing those beliefs to be able to let yourself do all the beautiful things you're doing. So Yeah, well, I started uh, with uh, just a facilitation, you know, doing, doing sessions. And then uh, as COVID started, uh, you know, I sat home and I worked with myself and I decided to take the whole year just to work with myself. But then I was running out of money, so I started doing... Uh, different things and that's how uh, Airbnb came around and then that was really good because I enjoyed connections and it has given me the opportunity to meet people different people from all over the world and I've been hired by my own guests to uh, facilitate with them uh, then you know doing the workshops and now I'm in the process of creating a workshop for people that want to dive deeper because I believe that everything that I've learned through all the coaching and transformational programs and everything, uh, even the experience I gained through my own experiences. Um, so that's what I'm, I'm looking to put together, a workshop to dive deeper within. And uh, now, I don't know if I mentioned to you, but I'm uh, also looking to have a women's circle. Mm, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I love it. And then what a gift, right? That you get to dream, you get to create. Our, our journey our, of life has been, what, what else do you want to do? Or what would you like to do, right? Where I think most of us got so programmed, you know, go get a college degree or go, right, go do something. And then you're going to do that for the rest of your life till you retire, right? And then, then I don't know what, uh, what they do after retirement. <laughs> Maybe some people go to Florida, but... <laughs> Right, and then a lot of people come to Florida. <laughs> right, yes, Florida, Florida is that is that 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 spot too. But well, how how about we shift that? Why do we have to retire? Why do we have to follow what the what the world even tells us to do? Right. What what if we could just connect with the love we who we are, realize that love is all around us, and we get to receive it and and become such great fun creators. What is if we can like actually uh, share our gifts, find out like it's like you're doing, like what, what are your gifts? What are your strengths? What do you love doing? And then start offering those, sharing those, like you love have, loving and connected with people. So, all right, you open your home to have people come be at your home. How amazing is that? Right. And then how about, I love being around, like helping support women. So how about we start a, a women's circle? These are the things that we literally, and then having the, the really, the, um, the, the confidence, the belief in yourself, you know, the, the trust, the courage, these are, these are really key pieces, um, to have, to live here. And I know, I know for me, and I'm sure for you too, Psyche was absolutely transformational in me waking up to those again within me and having me operate with those, right? Cause it is a bit risky, right? To go and do something, you know, you haven't done before, right? <laughs> and it's, it can be exciting too, right? Cause you know, uh, another scary. <laughs> yeah. What's that? Or scary. I always say that the scariest right is the one within. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, totally. Heck yeah. When well, we have to admit it. And that's the biggest part is let yourself admit exactly how you're feeling. Right. And it's okay if it's scary. All right. It's scary. All right. What are you really afraid of? Right. What is it that you're actually really afraid of? And that's like what you're going to be doing when you create these um, these new offerings for people is to um, to dive deeply, and then that does take courage. It does take a willingness. And then if in the the, the funny thing about all of that, though, okay, what's the worst that's going to happen? You know, I, I doubt you're going to like is incinerate. You know, and just woof, be gone. <laughs> <laughs> right? No, no, you actually might actually. Um, discover what's really going on and then you actually might really feel it so people may may have to dip into 
you know, a little bit of, of the, of a, a sorrow, you know, or even some shame or guilt, worry, fear, anger, you know, even prideful stuff people can get locked into. Those are all denser emotions and it's just contracted aspects of our love. And, and like, we'd like the, this offer set, you know, love is all of it, you know, whether you're in the high levels of the love, the joy, the peace, the harmony, the, the um, blissfulness, which I know I love to dance in. <laughs> yeah, there'll be times, right, where I'm feeling really sad and I'm like, whoo, what's this about, right? Where's this coming from? How beautiful when we can actually sit with it. And then with the mm -hmm. tool like Psyche, you use it for yourself and you get to actually transform it. You trans, we literally are recyclers. And when we can recycle, uh, we can actually um, uplift and expand even greater, have even more compassion or more um, creativity, even more um, power to create what we love. We're going to take another short break here. And when we come back, let's talk about how we can how we can show ourselves that that we really are love and that we um, have love all around us, like like practical things that we can do to really help people give some steps of, of what they can do for their lives. So I am Mary Mazer. You're on the Bold Brave TV network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun. We'll be right back. Did you know that your beliefs create your entire reality, but it's the subconscious beliefs that do most of the creating? Belief Shifter and Life Coach Shiraz can help you identify those limiting beliefs and eliminate them, often in a single session. Like it was almost instant, like I had relief right away. Creating better health, relationships, careers, and finances. Let Shiraz help you step out of safety and into awareness. Definitely something's happening. Uh, it's like a, a flow inside. You know, it feels good. Whether in person or online, Shiraz provides personal coaching, belief shifting. Visit Shiraz at energeticmagic.com or call 416-529-7429. Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Find your greater happiness. Be well. Be aware. Be magical. Are you struggling to care for elderly parents or a spouse? Do you wonder if being a caregiver is making you sick? Are you worried about taking time off work to care for elderly parents and balance work, life, and caregiving? Has caregiving become exhausting and emotionally draining? Are you an aging adult who wants to remain independent, but you're not sure how? I'm Pamela D. Wilson. Join me for the Caring Generation radio show for caregivers and aging adults, Wednesday evenings, 6 Pacific, 7 Mountain, 8 Central, and 9 Eastern, where I answer these questions and share tips for managing stress, family relationships, health, well-being, and more. Podcasts and transcripts of The Caring Generation are on my website, PamelaDWilson.com, plus my caregiving library, online caregiver support programs, and programs for corporations interested in supporting working caregivers. Help, hope, and support for caregivers is here on The Caring Generation and PamelaDWilson.com. Welcome back. I'm Mary Mazur. You're on the Bold Brave TV network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun. We have Anna Maria Visa here from Florida <laughs> giving her insight. So Anna, yeah, what are things that you have done that you are doing for yourself to show that you have love all around you, to actually be able to see it, to feel it, to have it come to you, to receive it? Um, yeah, what are some things that you do, even, even maybe um, practices or activities or uh yeah or, or even just fun stuff to know that you have love all around you well i think uh one thing that comes to mind is investing in myself mm. and my own transformation and my own healing um i recently started a class um uh, for family constellations yeah. and because i was fascinated after I learned about it. I tried a few sessions and it was just like with Psyche. So I think, and I've used both modalities hand in hand and they got really good. So mm -hmm. for me, I think helping me first has allowed me to recognize what's around me mm -hmm. and investing, investing in me in time and, and practicing whatever modalities I've learned. Cause yes, even uh, transcendental meditation. <laughs> 
Right, right. Oh, yeah, no, that's super huge. And 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 how amazing where many of us didn't um, get that program growing up, right? Many of us got the program. No, think of everybody else first. You know, it's basically like put on the, the oxygen mask on everyone else before you put it on your own, which is the opposite. When you go into a plane, what do they say? Put yeah. on your oxygen mask first, right? <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then yeah. how beautiful, because actually when you can help yourself and then connect in with the love of who you are, right? And, and, and like you say, have yourself what we call so you're vibrating into your true essence into the true love of who you are right reconnect back i love to say is reconnect back into your heart again to then and then even discover it i mean even i think for a lot of us a lot of people are still in the very beginning stages of this so even it's just this um discovery piece what is it what does it even mean let's get out of our minds that's like a big one most of us, I got so programmed to go live in our minds, but and that's what happened to me. I didn't even realize if I was in my mind or, or versus my body and in my heart. So a lot of things that I do is I check in. Okay, where am I now? Am I in my thoughts? Am I up in my mind? You know, thinking about things and and coming up with conclusions about stuff. Um, I um, am listening to uh, Teal Swan that has a beautiful what's called Relationship Vault um, offering, which she's amazing. I highly recommend it. And she um, talked about. And she has like these short little videos. She talked about what's called the meaning glasses. And I loved it. It was such a beautiful analogy, like as if you're going to put on glasses, right? And the, the gift was, is that that she basically has um, shared like the universe itself is, it just is. This is the universe. It's absolutely amazing and perfect and beautiful. And then we come down to earth and where we choose to be separate from our divinity, separate from all the connected to the, and then do what we want to do. And then learn all these beliefs and all of these practices that our culture or family has, right? And then throughout our lives, we wake up again and then realize what the heck did, what the heck is going on. Like you did, you got frustrated, I got frustrated. Something has to change, right? Well, a big piece with this healing journey and with this change is to, is to check in with where you're putting meaning on things. And this is something I've been working with myself uh, with quite a bit a lot. Because we do, as human beings here, we do. We, we put meaning to everything. Because it does. And, and what's neat is that one person may have a, a meaning of something different than another, like even in relationships, right? Of mm -hmm. what's meaningful for one person may not be for another. Like I know you and I love connection, right? We're all about big, big connectors. For other people, maybe it's not. Maybe it's them staying busy doing stuff, you know, or maybe they like fixing things, building things, you know, stuff like that. So it's um, fascinating. And then what's happened in relationships, like let's say if we didn't get the attention from our father, like that happened with me, then I would put on this, okay, I'm not important to my dad, you know? So then those glasses of that meaning then can switch to other relationships with men where I don't think I'm important to them, you know? And then, then how do I end up responding or reacting? Then we start responding in different ways, like maybe being over pleasers, like you had talked about, right? Or, um, or losing ourselves just to please people or helping everybody else instead of helping ourselves first, knowing who we are, connecting into who am I? And then it's as easy as taking off the glasses, meaning catch yourself if you are putting on a meaning to something that's negative. If it's positive, that's awesome because you're like, hey, yes, that has a beautiful meaning because you are, we're here to expand. We're here to discover more of the love of who we are, right? But, but if it's this judgment, you know, meaning or, oh, they're just bad or, oh, they're just this or I'm just this, then it's this, right, this shameful guilty judging i say we're 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 label makers we got we like to label everything um you were sharing uh this thing about um the the putting ourselves first i remember a story uh during pandemic well i don't think it was exactly during pandemic but it was kind of like when the time that the masks were uh already an option here and I, I went out to dinner with my partner and I didn't wear the mask. So I go in the restaurant. He looked at me and like funny, he put on his mask. Uh, we sat down on the first chair. I mean, I mean, on the first table and he looked at me and he goes, you don't wear a mask. I uh, said, so no, we had not seen each other for a few weeks. And I go, no, I don't. He goes, okay, well, so what happens if you go in a store and there's older people that are scared? I said, well, I'll stay away from them. And he goes, but wouldn't you wear a mask? I uh, so let me ask you. So let's just say that um, I'm going outside and my, my dad goes, it's kind of chilly outside. Why don't you put on the jacket? And so I put on the jacket to please my dad. Then I go and I, I'm always wearing sandals. But then my mom goes, why don't you wear tennis shoes? Because I worry that you might hurt your feet. So I go change my 
tennis shoes. Then my aunt goes, you know, why don't you put on a hat and sunglasses just to like be safe? I was like, so I go and put sunglasses and a hat. And then my other aunt goes, you know, I like your hair when it was shorter. So I go and cut my hair to please my aunt. So here I am pleasing the world. I'm forgetting that I am the most important person in my life, that I am creating the misery or the happiness in me. So how about I just live my life how I like, and you live your life how you like. If you want to continue rescuing everybody else, that's on you, but I'm not doing that anymore. Wow. Isn't that huge? You're so right. Yeah. Especially when you, when you all of a sudden, if you get resentment, because that's how, that's what happened to me is when I was over pleasing, then I, because I didn't want to do it, but I did it anyway. And then, of course, it's going to rip ricochet right back because I'm not being the true love of who I am, not being true to myself of who I am. Exactly. I'm, I, I was trying to please the world. So I was miserable and depressed my whole life. I said, no more, <laughs> no more. Right. right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and it isn't that beautiful. So could you imagine like for the people listening today? All right. So let's start a new day. How about when someone asks you to do something? Because that's going to happen still. Check in with yourself. Check into your, your heart. Check into, we call it, um, my friend Sabine and I are creating something new too, which is exciting, called your PowerPoint, that we have a PowerPoint within us. We have our con direct connection with our divinity. I mean, you can call it lots of things. We're calling it the PowerPoint. Um, that check in with your knowingness, because you could say too. Check in with your knowingness. It just, does this feel right? Do I really want to? And for some people, right, they might feel really uncomfortable about disappointing people. And that's what I did, too. So that's why I said yes, probably you, too. You didn't want to disappoint them. You wanted them to, you know, feel good. And we think we're being good little girls by that because we were taught to be that, right? Yeah. So now it's really funny now to say enough of that, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd be true to myself. And then it feels so good to be in the power to say, no, no, thank you. I appreciate all your little gestures or all your concern because your worry is now you're putting on to me. Um, yeah. is is that no enough of that right and then how cool is that so that's that's when we get to stand in our power know who we are regardless of any of that going and still love them appreciate them they're just offering um my ex did that quite a bit too and it was because he lived in worry land you know because he just is worried about stuff a lot of people do and i'm yeah. like no thank you worry does not um help in any it's way not love. no Why it's not love it no, you're making up negative stuff that's completely made up in your mind. It hasn't even happened. And then you worry yeah. about it and you're like, no, isn't that it? So how's that serving you? That'd be a better question to ask, right? I'm like, oh, wow. And then and then why? Right? And where are those fears then? So like what's happening here that, that that's dropping into this lack of trust, things like that. So for us, this is where Psyche is wonderful. And yes, I love family constellations too. And that's what I love about Psyche is it's a great connector to anything. It's a compliment for lot because there are lots of things out there and how beautiful. And, and many people with um, teaching these workshops, many people have learned lots of other stuff. And then they finally land into Psyche and they're like, this is what I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> and all those other pieces were stepping stones for them. They were all still perfect and beautiful for them to work with where, like you did with hypnosis, right? Each part is all their, their experiences. They help us in some way. That's for sure. It's just, yeah, we do want more. We want things to really work. We want them to be long lasting. So that's psyche is a huge part for that. <laughs> and if we want it fast, that's perfect too. <laughs> right? Yes, seriously. I mean, literally with transformative perception, like if you're worried about something, even the worry, you can literally drop in with, and, and now psyche is working even faster. It used to be five to 10 minutes. Now it's about one to three minutes. <laughs> so you know, it's like the, literally uh... stepping in. Yeah. One of the girls that I work with that was, uh, she was uh, raped by her dad and molested by her cousin. And we just had an interview mm -hmm. and she said, when I asked her, what were the changes that you notice, you know, within the next couple of weeks? Because I interviewed her a week, two weeks afterward. Uh, and she goes, well, I ride the bus, you know, and before the session, every time I was in the bus, I was thinking somebody's going to touch me. Somebody's going to do something. I was just in this, in this state of stress. But after the session, I was just like, relaxed, like, wow, like, this is something that I've never experienced. And I said, that's the power of the perception reprogramming, because once you change it, it's just, you're a different person. You're seen through different lenses. <laughs> Exactly. You, you can actually see for your through your clear eyes instead of these covered glasses that we put on ourselves, right? Yeah. 
Oh, I love that. I know. I know. And it is life changing because your nervous system is now going to shift. That's the, the gift of our, our nervous system with our vagus nerve, especially is will be triggered with the fight, flight or freeze. It's there for help us to survive. Right. And it was only designed uh, back in the day when like a saber tooth tiger was chasing us, right? Like something really serious, then it would kick in, it would shut off our immune system, it would shut off the growth hormones, you know, it would constrict everything, like raise your blood pressure, get everything pumping good, get your sugars all up and going, right? And and to to have you go have enough energy to move your muscles to survive, right? And then, but then what's happened with our culture is that we've created all of these scenarios where now people are getting chronic stress and their chronic fight flight. Like I know for me, I, I certainly lived that before Psyche. And you're right. Once you transform these things and your body just feels better, wow, your muscles start to relax. You become healthier. I mean, the whole health thing, I, I've cleared all of my stress-related uh, diseases, um, right? Shifting back to balance and harmony and uh, what a yeah. gift, right? Yeah. For sometimes sometimes the tiger can be mom or dad chasing us every day so yeah good point very true you're so right and or even our own selves our own angry hateful parts within our own self so those are the shifts that we can shift very easily to psyche all right we're going to take another break i am mary mazer you're on the bold brave tv network this is change your funk to fun we'll be right back what if there were a super tiny device that could diagnose the brain and is smaller than a single human hair? What if you could see inside the brain to help an epilepsy patient during surgery or to help the fight against Parkinson's disease? Dr. Patricia Broderick is proud to announce the Broderick Probe, a biomedical and electronic breakthrough. Imagine a probe to help with the understanding and potential cure of brain-related diseases. To learn more, listen live to the Easy Sense Radio Show with host Dr. Broderick, Wednesdays, 7 p.m. Eastern on the Bold Brave Media Network and TuneIn Radio. And to help support the Broderick Foundation, please go to Easy easysense.com and learn how with your help we can fight these horrific brain disorders that's easysense.com to learn more and help support the broderick foundation author radio show host and coach john m hawkins reveals strategies to help gain perspective build confidence find clarity achieve goals john m hawkins new book Coached to Greatness, unlock your full potential with limitless growth. Published by iUniverse, Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them. We discover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals. Listen to John Hawkins' My Strategy, Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Mm. Welcome back. I'm Mary Mazur. You're on the Bold Brave TV Network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun. And welcome, Anna Maria Wieser. Ooh, last little bit here of our talk today. So, yes, you are um, organizing a beautiful Psyche Basic Workshop in your home in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. There's a little more you'd like to share about yeah, what people will learn at the workshop, uh, what the purpose is. Yeah, things like that. We'll well, the, the workshop is a three-day workshop. It's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's going to be January 26, 27, 28. Uh, from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, during the workshop, you'll learn how to access your subconscious uh, mind via muscle testing. Uh, check for whatever beliefs you may have that are keeping you stuck or limiting you. So they could be disempowering or negative beliefs. And you'll learn how to form what we call goal statements. So transforming perceptions into positive and self-empowering. You learn to work with yourself and to work with others in person. Mm -hmm. um, it's a very powerful, it's like the, I believe it's like the, the base, you know, to go deeper. Cause mm -hmm. after that they have other workshops, but yeah, it's like the foundation and, and you can use those two balances that you learn during the workshop and any, 
at any time with any situation, just transforming a perception, for example, like I was sharing with this uh, women that I work with uh, in, in very little time. And, uh, you know, I was thinking, it's funny when I work this, with these women, you know, and I, I asked them, how would you like to, how would you like the men to be in your life? And they say, the men in my life are whatever, no? But then they look at me like, I said, we're talking about the men in your life, not your neighbors, not your parents, <laughs> in your life, because every mind is a world. So in your world, <laughs> hey. so, but yeah, things like that is what you learn. And I believe it's just uh, my, my own experience, one of the best investments I've done. Because if I had to, if I, if I had to go back and pick one process or one modality that I really feel that was the most helpful, this one for sure. Oh, wow. Yeah. Right. Isn't that awesome? Yay. Yeah. And the gift you have is you get to, when you leave, you also transform during the weekend. So you're already going to make changes within yourself. You'll already see, begin to feel the difference, feel the love you are, be able to see that love all around you to receive it more easily. And then exactly shift how you want your life to be, to be in your new way, go in a new direction. And uh, yeah, it's, it's absolutely uh, transformational. I went, I, I actually went to help my husband at the time had had leukemia and he was, thought he was going to die at 50, like his dad and sister, but instead he just turned 60. So, you know, this is going to be massive massively transformation. It took him like three years. So he was ready for it, which gave me the invitation to work with myself, which was super huge. And, and then, then I was like, Oh my Lord, I didn't even know how amazing this could be. And then, uh, yeah, and then I know I've been taking off ever, ever since. So the, the heart, I mean, some people may even question, hey, is this really real? Can this really happen? Okay, well, you know, you can believe whatever you want. If you don't think even this can help you, well, then then maybe it's not going to help you very much. You actually have to believe that um, that you really have that courage and willingness that you really can make changes because it's really, that is the intention is everything. Psyche is just the, the bridge that helps you connect to your power and activate your internal personal power to make those changes. I always tell people, you never know what you're missing until you try it. And sometimes you got to try a little more because I've had, you know, clients that come and they want their world to be changed and uh, their life to be changed in one session. I said, <laughs> how about we go a little deeper? <laughs> so, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Especially like, they had their whole life. They had their whole life creating it. Now in one session, they want it all gone. I'm like, yeah, that would be lovely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean we yeah. have the power just like we have the power to create everything that's there we have the power to reverse it so how about we invest the time and the money to do it <laughs> exactly exactly and then instead of it having to be hard and difficult like the old-fashioned way because that was the old way is just doing it with a lot of repetition doing right and you can still do it because people can make changes without ever knowing psyche. People always have. Yeah. This is just helps things. Like for me, it became easier. We, I, I, li I can be more in the flow and have things become more synchronistic and harmonious. And I just feel better. Like I love the part that I feel great, you know, and, and I did, I've created a wonderful life for myself, which is magical. And I it would have never happened. I was still working, you know, a job that, that, that I worked my guts out on, you know, just to get by, you know, where now there's just so much openness, so, so much expansion and we can, we can open up our creativity windows and start creating the new life that we want to create. Okay. And I like the, um, uh, speed you know, how fast things can change. I was mm -hmm. born premature, so I have a thing with fast. <laughs> right, right. You came here before you even fully grew, right? <laughs> I was like, okay, bring it on. I'm ready. Right. <laughs> Psyche has been the perfect match because things happen fast and easy. Right. Love it. Okay. So how can people reach you? So that way, if they want to have a private session with you or, or connect with you about the workshops, because that would be great. Uh, okay. Well, my website is uh, www.annamariavieser. It's V as in Victor, E-E-S-E-R.com. And my phone number is 954-557-7170. Wonderful. Yay. Thank you. And then for people that want to come to my website, it's igniteandhealyourlife.com. So igniteandhealyourlife.com. Igniteandhealyourlife.com. And, -E and uh, the workshop, uh, you can register on my workshop. Uh, 
to um, to get your spot, get your spot before it fills up. And uh, I do, I am offering an online workshop for those that, that aren't able to go to Florida and you still want to learn Psyche. Okay, so you can go to my website for that. That's January 12th to the 14th. At least you can at least begin with that, just working with yourself with one balance change process. And then you can still come to Anna's at the end of the month. We give you a discount for that. And uh, yeah, and then you can still learn how to work with other people and learn the second balance change. There's many opportunities. What I love is it's all here for you. You have every way to make changes. It's up into our free will choice and readiness and have the courage and willingness to say yes. Say yes to yourself. Like that. begin to work with yourself first. So thank you, Anna. Thank you for being on here for this beautiful day. Um, I am Mary Mazur. You're on the Bold Brave TV network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun. This has been Change Your Funk to Fun with host Mary Mazur. Tune in each week and ignite the courage within you to take meaningful changes in your life and allow the fun, joy, and love in your life to awaken. Wednesdays, 3 p.m. here on the Bold Brave TV network.